Let's play volley with Leo to try and be less noob in the Tour 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wild Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. I played the first match versus uh, Fly Chiming, who was having an astounding 110 agility. Well, I think honestly that uh, Fly Chiming was playing in the car. Or he was uh, giving his account to uh, his nephew to play, to have fun, because I don't recognize at all his uh, hard shots. It looks like someone else is playing. So now and then I have this impression actually. Sometimes I've, I play a super strong fly jam in, and sometimes I play someone who hits uh, much softer. Maybe that he's sharing this account with a friend. I don't know. Anyway, normally, well, I wouldn't have uh, featured this match in such a video because uh, there were a lot of enforced errors. But I wanted you to see how uh, even uh, 110 agility Kaito couldn't reach the drop volleys without a long catch string. All right, let's play second match versus uh, Fredo M. An excellent counter puncher, one of the rare top players who still don't have a Kaito with high stats yet. But even with those uh, relatively lower stats compared to the ones of the other top players, well, he destroys me in uh, plenty of other matches. Well, let's see how my Leo is going to behave in this match. Yeah. I like to hit volleys that way towards the two side lines. Two, one. And uh, only Kaito's with long catch wouldn't have caught those volleys two. normally. The ones using the Maestro Monty won't catch them. Yeah, very hard two, shots. Three. Just pierce the quick catch defense, which wasn't. Activate it then. Two, four. Whoops. Two, That's five. the problem when you try to catch the lines. Four. One of the side lines and that you're not accurate enough. Still have to. Uh, yeah, but I was very lucky there. He normally doesn't miss this kind of shot. And this is a good shot to do, of course. This soft cross court shot. And it was lucky there too. That his lap didn't go in. Yeah. Very lucky on a match point to stand there and guess that he was going to hit there. Lucky guess. All right, let's play this is another good counter puncher, Van Domera, who normally has a much higher trophies number right now. If I remember, well, yeah, that was at the time the love return love. still worked. I remind you that uh, those matches, most of those matches were played before that the publisher corrected this overhead smash behavior for short characters like Kaito and Florence, you know, whenever volley players do this kind of uh, love return, they use it to hit a overhead smash using their volley stat and now it's over. They use their best hand stat so they will volley very hard. That trick doesn't work anymore. Well, now and then you can buy time, you know, to make your uh, rush to the net by hitting the love return. But then you are going to get a big risk of being hit very hard. After the lob, 
Yeah, my opponent was really accurate with those passing shots. <laughs> that was really s abusive. I'm glad that the publisher corrected that. Even if I play volley a bit more than uh, before. I really didn't like this slop return at all. This is not the problem of uh, not knowing how to counter it. You just need to step a bit into the court to avoid being lobbed that way. But now and then you s you can still be tricked. And the game will force you to hit the volley. I'm glad it's over. Alright, let's play a versus Seb. Who is apparently French. With this French flag. And Seb is uh, one of the most popular first name in France. Sebastien. Alright. Yeah. Hitting very hard is the best thing to do. But I was a bit surprised that on the previous point he was hitting very soft. At the moment uh, he should have hit very hard. Yep, I like to hit the returns now and then that way too. On the previous point, I mean. A bit like a cross court drop shot. But of course, it's no way as effective than when it's hit with Victoria or Kaito. Just to annoy your opponent a bit. I play that kind of shot a bit much more often now. Alright, this play versus Kaito was using the same build than the previous opponent, Seb. Frankie H. Yep. One long volley, one short drop volley, and... Well, a lot of Kaito don't like that. So, in those matches, my Leo was still returned with uh, his backhand in preference because his backhand stat was uh, stronger than his forehand and now it's not the case anymore. I have just max desserts after those matches, long after. And now, well, he's returning with uh, his left hand. And I must admit that I prefer that way. I'm so used to return with the left hand now. While playing with Victoria, using the high serve big forehand style. I serve two strong hand style or low serve aggressive baseliner style. Or when I play with Kaito, because most of the time, I don't use the cover load, I wouldn't use uh, the anti offside and so with that setup I have a stronger backhand and then I will position my Kaito exactly like I will position Victoria because uh, his strongest hand will then be uh, the backhand. Well, that was surprisingly uh, less difficult than I would expect for the match point. Alright, let's play versus uh, Luke. Not too powerful hands yet. And he's using the Severan wire. Which could be good One. with the long catch, tier 2. And a critical. But the problem is that it's going to drain stamina of this look. 
a lot. Personally, I would have used the choker cards if I wanted to get uh, the long catch ability. But he probably wanted to uh, hit critical shots with his look too. And he didn't trigger the critical a lot in this match. Yeah, this time that's worth it. Actually, sometimes soft uh, cross court shots like that work even better. See how a lower stamina is uh, detrimental for the ability of his look to catch the serves of Leo. Even when it's only a 58 surf stat, while uh, this look is having a 87 agility, the low stamina is ruining it completely. All right, let's play versus uh, Kaito using the cover load. 74 hand, backhand of 69, and he was using the swallow poly to have the long catch, critical. So this is almost the same thing than uh, the previous opponent who was using the cyber and wire. This swallow pulley doesn't have a forehand counter, but you know that it's not necessary to have the forehand counter versus volley players. And then the swallow pulley uh, string is enough. I wouldn't have taken this swallow pulley uh, if I was playing with antioxidant stuff. Using cover load doesn't give you a very high stamina stat when you play with Kaito. So, of course, having a huge stamina level is not really necessary when you play versus Wally players. But when you play with Kaito, if you can't hit a very hard shots that put the uh, Wally player in a difficult position or if you can't pierce the quick cash defense, well, you, s you have to use the stamina as a weapon actually to uh, to wear out the volley player somehow by hitting a lot and return his volleys One. to have a chance actually to uh, to hit passing shots when he starts. And with the swallow poly, it can't be the case. Well, let's play versus Anson. That I don't see very often in Tour 7 lately. Well, I think that Anson is uh, using a pretty subtle way of hitting. That could work versus counter punches or uh, low serve aggressive baseliner. But not that much versus volley players. Especially uh, volley players who have a surf stat of 58 and who won't allow him to hit soft returns. And he was insisting on <laughs> my Leo's left hand, so I was almost waiting there. And because I was seeing that his hitting pattern was always there. He was trying to, uh, I don't know, to wrong foot me maybe, thinking that I would try and uh, and move all the time towards the uh, the other side, right side. But no, seeing that he kept hitting there, I just stand there with my low. Yeah, see how very hard returns can provoke some uh, unforced errors while I volley. I still need to train a lot to volley back uh, those hard shots more accurately. Yeah, that's funny to see those lob returns again. That's so vintage. One, two. 
Yes. He was thinking that I wouldn't hit the drop volley, so he was going too much forward. Out. Three, two. While I was uh, rather preferring to uh, hit towards the baseline, alternating with Three. drop volleys. That was really effective. <laughs> I can understand why a lot of counter punches were irritated by those uh, lob returns efficiency. Match point. Yeah, I was doing that again. But this time it was too close to Kaito. for him to hit a smash and he was trying to hit very hard oh my gosh I still had this James badge my gosh oh much I haven't published a lot of uh, matches with Leo volleying lately I don't play much with him in high tours. You know that. I'm not fond uh, of this time. I prefer much more the high serve, the two high serve steins. Or even the counter puncher is better for me. Even if I can't hit hard on my phone yet, still have to find a solution. But this volley stein is really not funny. I just play it uh, to uh, try and be a bit less noob and to have a kind of backup sign for challenger tournaments. It could be handy. But otherwise, well, it's very far from being my uh, preferred sign. Oh, right. This victory, I was using the uh, Swallow Bully too, and with her stamina, I wouldn't have done that. Five, if I was this victory, I would take the Toro Twine. If she would like to have a critical ability, because the long catch of the Swallow Bully drains her stamina too much. Even the Toro Twine is draining stamina too, so it's pretty dangerous as well. Well, you are going to discover the build that uh, I was using for all those matches. I have just maxed the uh, Zust card lately. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me try to be less noob while volleying with Leo in the Tour 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wider Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye bye.